Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make projectiles in Godot 4. To get started, it's going to create a new scene. This will be a other node, character body. We'll call this projectile, as it will be our projectile. And I went ahead and added a simple sprite that I made before this video. I'm going to add a collision shape, 2D. Make it a circle. Drag it to surround the sprite. Let's add a new script. We can go ahead and delete all of this default code. We're going to go ahead and create three variables. One will be our direction that our projectile will be moving in. We'll set this to be a float. And the next will be our initial position. So we'll just call it spawn position. We'll set this to a vector two. And we also need a variable for our initial rotation. So variable spawn rotation. We'll set this to be a float as well. And actually, I forgot one more variable. We need a export variable, which will be our speed. We'll set this to be about 100 for now. Next, let's create a ready function. So function ready. We'll set our global position to be our spawn position. We'll set our global rotation to be our spawn rotation. Later on, I'll be going over why exactly we need to set these initial positions. But for right now, let's create a new function. This will be our physics process function. We'll set our velocity, which is a built-in variable to vector two, zero, and negative speed. And we need to offset this by our direction. So dot rotated, dir. And then we will move and slide. And that's actually all we need for our projectile. Let's go ahead and save that. It's gonna create a new node 2D. I'll just call this Canon. I've also went ahead and added a simple sprite. It's gonna create a new script. So what we want to do is spawn the projectile inside the cannon and shoot it out whichever direction the cannon is facing. However, we cannot make the projectile a child of the cannon since the cannon itself may be moving or rotating and we don't want it to affect the projectile after it's already been shot. So we'll need to spawn the projectiles outside of the cannon in order for the cannon to continue moving independently. Inside our cannon script now, let's go ahead and create a new variable. This will be an onReady variable. Let's call it main. This will be a reference to our main node. Let's go and set this to get tree dot get root dot get node main. We also need to reference our projectile scene. So on ready variable projectile. So this is to load. I will select our projectile scene. It's going to create a new function called shoot inside of here. Create a new variable instance. Set this to be our projectile dot instantiate. And now we need to set the direction that the projectile will be moving in. So instance dot dir. So this will be our rotation. Now let's go ahead and set our spawn position and rotation. So instance dot spawn position. So this will be our global position. And our instance dot spawn dot will also get our rotation. And now to spawn it in, we'll call main dot add child. And since we are spawning it outside of our current node, we have to do dot call deferred and then instance and now to test it i'll go ahead and call shoot inside of our ready function press play and you'll see it'll shoot outside of the turret i've gone ahead and added some simple rotation code and a cooldown timer that will shoot every time the timer has run out and here you can see our turret in action however currently you may notice that the projectile is spawning on top of the turret to fix this let's over to our projectile script let's create a new variable call it zdex for our z index so this will be an integer we will set our z index to be our z dex. Let's go ahead over to our canon script. Inside of here, we'll set instance dot z dex to be our z index minus one to be behind our current z index. Now you see our projectile is spawning behind our turret. And now finally, to detect if we have hit anything, we're going to create a new area 2D. Let's copy over our collision shape into there. Make sure it is enabled. Now it's going to connect our body entered to our projectile. Let's print hit. And then we will also queue free to delete the actual projectile. I've gone ahead and added in a simple static body that has a sprite and a collision. So if I press play, you'll see that the projectiles will hit the box. It will say hit and they will delete. However, if they don't hit the box, they will keep spawning forever and they will never actually delete themselves. And obviously this will cause performance issues. So it's going to create a simple timer. We'll call it life. We'll set this to be about three seconds. On timeout, connect to projectile. And once it's run out, 
we will queue free. And let's also make sure to tick auto start. And now if we press play again, we'll see that if they don't hit the box, they will eventually despawn by themselves. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.